Hey guys, I'm here today to show you the ultimate database when it comes to Dragon Quest Monsters 3, The Dark Prince. Um, this has the entire list of all the monsters that are in the game and how to synthesize them. But first, I want to start by saying how proud I am that um, this game is doing so well that in Japan, Square Enix actually put a statement out requesting people to... Um, buy the game digitally as they're running out of physical copies of the game, which is a pretty damn good sign, I would say. I think this game is doing much better than Square Enix had ever anticipated, and honestly, I feel like it's doing better than even I thought it would be. Um, so, I am very grateful for that as a huge Dragon Quest fan. Um, I hope it's doing at least half as well in the West as it is in Japan, because, you know, we never seem to get as many games out here as they do in Japan. And then I also want to thank each and every one of you who have been uh, enjoying my content. If you like these videos, remember to like, subscribe, turn notifications to all. Now let's get rolling. So I'm going to put a link to this website in the description below. I also want to give a shout out to um, Frosty Sean from the Discord. He's who hooked me up with this website to begin with. So thank you so much, Frosty Sean. He's been helping me uh, in my stream as I've been playing the game as well. Uh, I hope you guys are all enjoying Dragon Quest Monsters 3. All right, so let's begin. First thing of note, I guess I should mention, is that the website is a Japanese website. So if you got Google Chrome, you can thankfully just run that bitch in English, and uh, it takes care of that for you. If you're not in Google Chrome, you can copy and paste the... Uh, website to the Google Translate website and uh, just go translate website and open it that way. All the names are not going to line up with the English names, but thankfully the pictures and the ranks will and you'll have a pretty good idea of what you're looking for and looking at. So this will list out all of the monsters starting with the slime family. It'll tell you what area you can get them in. So we're going to use this one just to avoid spoilers here. The Demon World of the Flowing Temple. Um, it's All the names of the places aren't going to be the same, but when you click on it, you're going to be able to tell what area this is. Because it, it, it gives a visual representation of what area that is. So if, if you've seen this area, you obviously have that area unlocked, and you know where to look for that monster. Okay, so let's go back and look for my favorite slime. So let's go right away to toggle these. You want to go slime, because these are the slime family. Um, and then rank, um, he's obviously going to be within the top three, so I'm going to go B, A, and S, so that I can filter my results and not have to dig through thousands and thousands of slimes. And let's see, We've got Metal King Slime, there he is. So he's called God Rider in Japanese, but as, I, as you can see, um, the images here, this is the Slion Heart, I believe he's called. And you click on him, and it'll tell you exactly how to make this guy. So there he is in the picture up top. And scroll down. And yeah, slime type, A rank. Tells you their drops, what their base stats are. Um, what their um, traits are. As they level up, they get different traits. And tells you their weaknesses and stuff like that. And then here is how to make them. So you need the, uh, this is called the Shogum in English. And this might be still the Master Slime. I can't remember what this guy's called. But, and then in order to, uh, you can, it further breaks it down if you scroll down here. So you've got the uh, Slime Heart here. You've got the Shogum. You've got the Behemoth Slime and the Metal Slime Knight. So you combine the Behemoth Slime and the Metal Slime Knight to make uh, Shogum. And then for the Master Slime, you need the uh, Fang Slime, and I think that guy's called just like Mohawker or something like that. And you combine those to get the Master Slime. And every one of these, look at these, it shows underneath um, like Slime Type and a Demon Type. Either one needs to be only D rank, um, or you can go Jungler and Al Mirage. I'm not too sure what those are. If I click on them, it'll tell me. Uh, same with this one. So Beast Type or Material Type, B ranks. Or you can use um, that crocodile guy. You can you can also click on the guy directly, and then it'll break down his synthesis. So we go down here, and like it says, either a material or and a demon type. As long as one's B rank, you'll make the Mohawker. 
Um, or you can uh, use that crocodile, big crocodile dude, and the big uh, green beast to combine into the Mohawker. So you can continuously keep going back. If you want to make the, the, big green, the big green dude, you just click on there and scroll down and it'll show you how to make him as well. So you just need a demon, a, a demon type and a dragon type. One of them has to be C rank. And then it'll also tell you the possible uh, synthesis you can use that monster in. So we saw the Mohawker. There's also the uh, Haxorus. And there's also, I think it's like the Dracularge or something like that. The Big Green Bastard. So super handy guide. It tells you all the, the skills they can learn from their skill trees. But these are, these are going to be not very helpful because... They're going to be the Japanese names, even though they're translated into English. You can also check out search by rank. You can you can narrow it down as much as as much or as little as you like. You can look at all the monsters if you want by just untoggling everything, and then you can see every monster that's in the game. There's also I do want to show you guys. There is a four monster synthesis which i think people are calling like grandparent synthesis or something like that and basically for some of the sh most powerful monsters in the game you need to combine four different types of monsters um and the way you do that let's take a look at hargon here um you need four different monsters as i was saying in order to make this guy but the way it works and I love that the game did this, is they really related all these uh, boss monsters to their subordinates. So you need Atlas, Belial, uh, I can't remember what that guy's name was, and Pazuzu. So all four of Hargon's underlings are used in the synthesis in order to create Hargon. The, the Dragon Lord is very similar. You use the Golem, the Star Chimera, and the big Mad Axer looking dude. I think that's awesome how they did that. Putting a story importance into the synthesis of some of these boss monsters. So the way this works is you would have Atlas and Belial um, synthesize, and you could choose whatever monster for right here. And then you can have uh, this guy and Pazuzu synthesize, and you'll get whatever monster here. So the monster here and the monster here does not matter. What, it, what monster you choose from Atlas and Belial does not matter. Once that monster synthesizes with the monster created from Pazuzu and this guy, you will then get Hargon. So it's a definitely a more advanced form of synthesis. You have to do kind of synthesis in two different phases. You got this synthesis, three phases actually. You got this synthesis and this synthesis, and then you got this synthesis, which gives you Hargon. So that's kind of how that one works. Um, it looks like you can get uh, Malroth by doing the Dragon Lord's true form with Hargon, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they really did a good job, in my opinion, as to coming up with who you need in order to synthesize into some of these boss creatures. They made it make sense in kind of a story point as well. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I'm going to have one more video uh, shortly talking about a special event that's been going on in Japan. And hopefully it comes over this way, but I'll get to that in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, let me know in the comments, who are you using in your current party in Dragon Quest Monsters 3? Have a good one, guys. I'll see you in the next one.